Hi there, I'm Shar, one of the co-founders of Leica, and I'm here to give you a short introduction to our AI-powered creativity tool for writers. We focus on personalizing and training individual AI models for each unique writer. So the writer then gets suggestions, plot points, and character studies written in their own style and using their own context. If you'd like to try it out, just apply for the waitlist here and I'll get you an account ASAP. Okay, let's head on in and see what Leica is all about. So when we head in first, we're going to see our blank page, but don't worry, we're going to get some content to fill that with soon enough. So first things first, we're by writers for writers. So rather than generalized assistants, we make personalized brains for each writer. You can train your own brain over here by uploading a .txt or a .docx file of your writing. You'll get the best results if you use more than 10,000 words. Simply give your name a brain and a description, decide whether you want it to be public or private, and then it'll take Leica about four to five minutes to train your brain for you. You can also train Leica on other works in the public domain. As you can see here, I've got lots of brains trained on long dead writers like Algernon Blackwood, Sheridan Le Fanu's Carmilla, Emily Dickinson, and so on and so on. And we also, you can see, we have these locked brains are all my personal brains. We've got uh, the world brains are the ones that are open for everybody. And then down at the bottom, the ones with the little person icon are ones that are shared by another user. So we have everything in there. Okay, so let's say we've trained up a brain. Let's say we've trained up a nice brain here on the Grimm's Grimm Storyteller. This is a good one for us to try out because this one um, is trained on the Brothers Grimm fairy tales. So we can work with it and try out a few different things around fairy tales. So let's try something about an evil queen. So the evil queen, Veronica, uh, strode up the steps of the turret and in, into the tower. Okay, and we can see with using the hotkey or using the magic button, we can get, get our first inference. So this one is quite interesting. Golden coins and springs. If I use either the alternate button here or I can use the hotkey, we can alternate. Each time we're going to get three inferences um, that we can move through and see what we like. Okay, so I like the first one of these here, um, which is a very uh, dramatic. Um, and so when we're, we can keep writing, so I can keep writing now. So like I can keep writing, as you can see, and it'll work back in my own text color again. And then we can keep on using inferences and moving through and just never, ever getting stuck with the blank page. We can save our work here. We can get a new document to work with here. Or if at any point we'd like to share our content uh, online on some social media, we can click on the share button and it'll give us a lovely little, uh, little uh, card that we can use in Twitter or Facebook or anywhere we like. Okay, so we also have a character creator here. Um, so I'm just gonna kill these characters that I made earlier and we'll create a new one. So uh, it's, I'm gonna put in all of this content so the character creator works a little bit differently than the um, than 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 normal Leica, um, because basically it's working uh, on the back to try and uh, find uh, embedded phrases that are like what you're working on, so that it'll create it'll flesh out the character a little bit more. So let's see what this gives us, what Veronica is like. If you'd like to know more about the character creator, we've got tons of info about that in our help center, which you can see always up here at the top of the page. And um, you can always go there and that'll help you to find any info you need at any point. Okay, so it's still thinking about Veronica and it gives us the queen of the Mondamin, questions and forms of rebellion, true path to power is swift feet, or she swore to find a lost magical artifact. Well, that sounds very much like what we're doing here with the golden coin. And just like with the inferences of the text, we can do inferences uh, three times again with the character creator to pick what we like. Oh, gold is the only true path to freedom. OK, I really like this one. OK, so we can keep this here and then we'll be able to use it as our kind of fleshed out character as we move on. So we also offer illustrations using stable diffusion. So anytime you want to illustrate what you're working on and um, we can take what it is, anything that we like. So I'm just going to take this piece here. And we'll pop that into Stable Diffusion. Um, we can choose a genre. So I'm going to pick concept art. An atmosphere, I'll choose fantasy. A shape. And then where we want it to come into the picture, into the page. And click on magic. 
<clears throat> and again, we're going to get three uh, inferences just like before. And this is pretty nice. Looks very evil, very evil queen striding up steps of the turret. So I'll try one more here and we'll just see what do we get. And again, if you ever get stuck while you're working through, uh, working with Leica, with the characters, with the images, with the text, with anything at all, we've got a really robust help center that you can easily access right here. Or if you want to talk to someone, just drop by our Discord, the link is in the help center, or send us a mail at hello at writewithleica.com and we'll be delighted to help you. So thanks for watching and happy writing out there.